Namaste everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pooja and this is the daily pranayam series. Today we will learn and practice two beautiful yogic breathing exercises or pranayam called Shitali and Shitkari. Let's get started. Today we will learn and practice Shitali pranayam, the cooling breath and Shitkari pranayam, the hissing breath. Both are wonderful practices that can help us cool the body and that can act as tranquilizers when practiced just before going to sleep. And this is because they help to induce muscular relaxation and mental tranquility. A very, very interesting benefit also is that by regularly practicing Shitali and Shitkari, we can gain a little more control over our hunger and over our thirst. And this is because it gives us a feeling or a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. Like I said, both these practices help to cool the body. And this is because they affect very, very important centers in the brain that are associated um, to body temperature regulation in general. This being said, it is very important for us to know the precautions and the contraindications to keep in mind before jumping into this pro process or practice. First of all, both Shitali and Shitkari involve inhalations done through the mouth. Now, in general, when we breathe in through the nose, the air is heated up and filtered to a certain extent before reaching our delicate lungs. When we breathe in through the mouth, this process is, or this air conditioning and filtration process is kind of bypassed, uh, which makes our lungs more vulnerable to very cool air or dirty air. So these practices must only be done if you have access to a clean, unpolluted environment. So keep that in mind. Also, it is not to be practiced in cold weather or very, very cool weather. Okay. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that Shitali Pranayam has two techniques. I'm going to teach those to you and we will get to practice them. But one of them involves retention or kumbak, retention after the inhalation. Um, so the, the, the retention, sorry, must be kept very, very small. So very, very short duration of retention uh, for the simple reason that kumbak has a heating effect on the body. So um, that will be counterproductive when we practice shitali because that is aimed at cooling the body. Now coming to the contraindications. Anyone with low blood pressure or any respiratory disorders such as asthma, bronchitis or excessive mucus must not practice shitali and shitkari. Also, these practices lead to cooling of the lower energy centers. So anyone with chronic constipation must not practice this. Anyone with any heart diseases can practice Shitali and Shitkari, but without retention. So please do keep these in mind before starting this practice. And of course, if you have any other medical conditions, always consult a doctor before starting a new practice. All right, we will now jump into our Shitali practice. Like I said, there are two techniques. We will start with technique one, which is done without retention. Now for Shitali Pranayam, we will inhale through the mouth and we will exhale through the nose. When we inhale through the mouth, we're going to fold or roll the sides of the tongue so that it forms a tube and we will inhale the air through that tube, okay? And once you do that, you will feel a cooling sensation in on the tongue, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate this once for you. I'm going to stick my tongue out and then roll the sides, inhale through my mouth, close my mouth, exhale through the nose. Hopefully the mic caught the sound that this makes. It makes a sucking sound. 
okay so our awareness throughout this practice is going to be mainly on the sound produced by the inhalation and the cooling sensation okay now uh, as you might have seen i kept my inhalation and exhalation long so think of yogic breath okay think of your torso being like a tank that you're filling up with air or with water if that uh, that makes more sense and the tank fills up from the bottom towards the top so when you take your deep yogic breaths think of drawing the breath in through the in through the mouth or the nose depending on the practice sending the breath all the way down into your belly allowing the belly to inflate allowing the abdomen to expand keep inhaling as the chest expands and now as you exhale imagine pouring water or pumping water out of this tank so the level will start to drop from the top towards the bottom so you exhale let the chest drop ribs draw in belly button draw in so really really think of long inhales without any strain and full exhales okay so um, the number of breaths we will do is nine okay we're going to count nine breaths inhale through the mouth exhale through the nose is one breath okay let's try this together so get into your comfortable seated position either on a mat or on a chair make sure your spine stays upright the whole time relax your shoulders your hands may be in gyan mudra index and thumbs meet palms face up completely relax all the facial muscles and go ahead and close your eyes take a moment to just tune into the flow of your breath and we will now begin keep your spine upright stick the tongue out and let's begin inhale close the mouth exhale through the nose slow and full exhalation that is one inhale exhale do not worry if you are not able to roll the tongue I am going to show you an alternative. If your mind wanders during the practice, don't worry, it happens. Just bring it back to the flow of your breath, the sensation on your tongue and the sound. Take your time without rushing your inhales or exhales. Let's do two more breaths. And the last one, make the most of it. Take your time. And take a moment just to notice how you feel after your first round of Sheetali Pranayam, the cooling breath practice. And then when you're ready, you can slowly start to blink your eyes to open. Wonderful. Hopefully you felt and enjoyed that cooling sensation in the mouth. 
We will now move on to technique two. Um, just a quick note before we move on. Um, in general, uh, a good practice is to do about nine breaths or 15 breaths um, in one round. Um, and again, like I said, you want to keep this practice to just these many rounds because um, doing too much of it may cool your body more than necessary. Okay, so be for the sake of this video, I'm going to demonstrate, and you can practice this with me, six more breaths. And then I will show Shitkari Pranayam, which you do not have to practice along, but you can learn and maybe you can practice this tomorrow. Okay, so we will keep the total number of breaths to 15. Now, Shitali technique 2 is with Antar Kumbak, retention of breath after the inhalation. Like I mentioned, we do not want to retain the breath too long. One or two seconds is enough to start with. Slowly you can increase the duration, but not very long. Maybe you can go up to five. Okay, always, always keep the retention very comfortable. So we're simply going to do what we did and add on the retention after we inhale. Okay, so I'm going to count um, four on the inhalation, two for the retention, and four on the exhalation, okay? However, if this count does not feel very comfortable, you can go at your own pace. Maybe you can do three, two, three, or maybe three, one, three, okay? Totally up to you. There is no wrong, there is no right. Sit upright. We're going to do six breaths. Relax your facial muscles. Keep your shoulders relaxed, spine straight. Inhale. Retain the breath, close the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Second breath. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold the breath, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Third breath, inhale. Hold the breath, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath, four, three, two, one. One, exhale slowly, four, three, two, one. Fifth breath, inhale. Hold. Exhale. Last breath, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold the breath, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Relax. Let the body take in the benefits of this practice. And now slowly blink your eyes to open. So this was Shitali Pranayam with technique one and technique two. Let's move on to Shitkari Pranayam, the hissing breath. And the reason it's called the hissing breath is literally because you will make a, a hissing sound when you inhale through the mouth. Okay, now I, I mentioned that I will show you an alternative if you're unable to roll the tongue. This is the alternative. So. Uh, it, Shitkari gives the same benefits as Shitali does. It's just a different technique. So for this, you do not have to roll the tongue. All you want to do is keep your teeth lightly together. Okay, You do not want to clench. Keep them lightly together. Your lips will be separate. So your lips will be open. Your mouth will be open. And you're going to inhale through the mouth. So think of the sound you make or the action 
you do with your mouth or with your teeth when you've eaten something spicy. Like so. And exhale through the nose. Very good. And it's as simple as that. Again, you'll feel a cooling sensation in the mouth. Now the tongue will just rest in the mouth. Just keep the tongue flat. There is another variation we can do, but I will keep that for one of our practice sessions um, in one of the upcoming videos. So for now, just keep your tongue relaxed. Let's do about six rounds together. If you have already practiced nine breaths and nine, uh, nine breaths and six breaths in Shitali, you can totally skip this and do this tomorrow. If you haven't practiced Shitali, um, 15 breaths of Shitali, you can, of course, join me here. So I'm going to sit upright. And now I will begin. Teeth lightly together, mouth is open, or lips are separate. Inhale. Exhale, nose. Again, I will use a count. So four on the inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Again, inhale. Full yogic breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Let's do one more breath. Inhale. Beautiful. You can keep your eyes closed after this last breath and bring your palms to touch. Bow your head with gratitude. Bring in a sense of gratitude in your heart for this practice, for the gift of yoga, for the science and knowledge of yoga that has been passed on to us. Rub your palms. You can cover your eyes, inhale and exhale. And then slowly release, bow the head again. Namaste. Thank you very, very much for watching, for practicing along, for learning. I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and uh, we will see you again very, very soon with another video.